My name is Julius Kitinji. I work for International Livestock Research Institute as a research assistant. I support dairy development. I've been working on an accelerated value chain development program whereby I've been coordinating research, uh, mainly in dairy. We've worked in uh, Western Kenya, which is more of the pre-commercial dairy areas. We've been doing work around improved uh, forages of Bracaria, which we've been taking to farmers. And uh, one of the things that we realized, especially for our female smallholder farmers, is around uh, conservation of Bracaria. So the most, um, the most available technology of conservation has been box baling, which is quite involving in terms of labor and it will require the woman to compress the, the grass, which is quite tasking. So one of the things that we worked on is on an improved box baler, which doesn't require a lot of effort. It's, an, it's a lever baler, and the women are able to bale the grass easily. And we promoted this technology across different counties, and the women were able to bale grass just like their male counterparts, and also participate in fodder, fodder markets. We were able to look for alternative ways in which you could uh, um, work with women to participate in the fodder value chain. One of the ways that we've been able to work with the women is, um, is um, allowing the women to participate in the dairy value chain through leasing of land, whereby the women are able to lease land, they are able to grow improved forages, and uh, from growing the improved forages, they are able to generate income. Now from this income, the women have been encouraged to take part in dairy by buying calves, which now they take as their, as their own. And from those calves, they've been able to derive income from dairy. Also, the other thing that we've been able to do with the women from that is that uh, we are able to target our trainings. One of the things that we did is that we realized the women play an important role around milking. And uh, we targeted our trainings uh, to have a, an audience that purely uh, is the one that is in charge of milking. So what we've been able to do is the trainings around mastitis. We've been able to purely target the women, and through that we've been able to reduce the cases of mastitis infection in our areas. The other things that we've also been able to do is uh, around breeding work. We rolled out a campaign of mass insemination, and uh, from our previous studies is that we realized women are the primary caregivers of, um, of the cows. And uh, working with the women, training the women on heat detection, we've been able to improve our conception rates and we've been able to get uh, uh, more conceptions out of uh, working with women as the ones who are detecting heat and also the ones who are contacting the vets for, for breeding.